Let's talk about the honey of calm in summer now, a stillness in 21 scenes. And that's also from Aesthetic Du Mal by uh, Wallace Stevens. And if you notice, a number of the, these plays that we've talked about just today, uh, I, I dropped the act structure and just went with scenes. Uh, I did that with with uh, the second woman. I did it in the Helen play, the Helen Wagner play, and the Jerry. Well, the Jerry the Jew is in three acts, but but uh, sometimes you, I just want to have a continuum of scenes. You have, uh, I think, the uh, I other you talked about lastly um, in six acts. What is the difference? We, and then it doesn't have any scenes in it. What is the difference in your mind between breaking them up into acts and scenes? What's the difference of the, of the word choice that you use there? The act, an act is a totally complete thing that it's an argument with its own answer, in a sense. A scene is a scene that will often leaves a door open. Uh, so an act, an act is, is, is a harder, more completed, more rounded, more compacted. It's the difference between, say, uh, having a real hard... Chapter and a paragraph? Well, well it ha uh, the act will be a snowball that's compacted well into itself, whereas uh, a scene is maybe just a uh, steps in snow, the, the footprint. Uh, a, a scene, uh, even if it's longer than an act, uh, it's the act in and of itself is more, I don't know, it, it's more rounded, more completed. You could read, you could read a full act and maybe get a whole summary or an idea of that and it could almost stand alone as a one act play in a sense, whereas the scenes I don't think could. So it's the difference between, say, a line in the stanza or a paragraph in a chapter. Perhaps, yeah. I mean, 